Hey everyone, this is Chef Steven. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are going to do a Texified version of jalapeno poppers. Now, jalapeno poppers, of course, your bacon, your cream cheese, your jalapenos all kind of wrapped together. Awesome, awesome side. But today I'm going to do my hungry Texified version. What we're doing, instead of doing jalapenos, we're doing some poblano peppers. We're going to, of course, get our bacon. We've got our cream cheese. But to make this Texas, we got some smoked brisket, some crab, and uh, Argentine shrimp. Let's get started. We're going to get our poblano peppers, and we're going to cut them in, in half, right down the middle. Now you've got quite a bit of room. We're going to take the seeds out, and then we're going to start stuffing it with the cream cheese. We'll wrap it up with bacon. Now, if you kind of mess it up a little bit, it's okay because it's all going to be held together with bacon. All right, now that we've got our poblanos seeded, cut in half, it's time to stuff them with cream cheese. Now, a lot of the times I love to go with the whipped cream cheese. However, the problem with that is that I'm afraid it's just going to kind of uh, melt out completely. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get a little bit in every single one of them with our regular cream cheese. Next step, we're going to start stuffing it. We're going to get some smoked brisket. This is ultimate, ultimate Texan, in my opinion. Next, we're going to get a couple of poppers with uh, some crab. Last step, we're going to go with some shrimp. I like to go with the raw shrimp because I have my oven set to 400 degrees. By the time the bacon's cooked, the shrimp will be nice and cooked because if you overcook your shrimp, it's going to be kind of rubbery and unappealing. So Let's wrap up some poppers. Next, we're going to put them on a sheet tray. And I like to put a little baking rack right between the sheet tray and the poppers because that way you get that air underneath it. We're going to pop it into the oven at 400 degrees. We're going to start with about 20 minutes. It might take a little bit longer. It might be a little bit quicker. So I'll let you know when we bring them out. Another tip that I recommend is have your bacon on the bottom, on both sides, when it's all wrapped up. That way, as it shrinks, it won't come out. And if, let's say that does happen, just get a toothpick and close it shut. When it comes to putting your poppers in the oven, we're going to put them on the middle rack right there. And we'll set the timer again, 20 minutes. We've got about 30 minutes in the oven. The bacon that we went with started to crisp up a little bit. After about 30 minutes, I put it on broil for about five minutes to get that little crispiness out of it. All this work, let's try it. I'm going to go with the shrimp one. That's a feast right there. That's really good. Of course, poppers are awesome. Cream cheese is awesome. Bacon is awesome. Anyways, I hope you learned something today. Make sure you follow me on social media. Chef Stegon's on Instagram. Chef Steven Gonzalez on Facebook. Go to ChefStevenGonzalez.com. Get a copy of my cookbook, Get Your Grub On. I will catch you next time. If you all got questions, make sure you hit me up on social media or my website. Catch you later.